Hey, Lynette, thanks very much. It is 502 right now and this morning. The push is continuing to get more students back in their school buildings for in-person learning. But right now, 43 schools in Maryland have what the state health department considers outbreaks of COVID-19. WMR2 News' Aaron McPherson is live this morning with more on what those numbers mean. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Christian. While well, those each of those schools have at least two cases of people who have tested positive for the coronavirus, and that can be either a student or a teacher or both. And some schools have even more cases than that. Now, even though it's just a small portion who've actually tested positive, everyone who's in their classroom has to quarantine for two weeks. So much more of the school's population is back to virtual learning. Now, there are three levels of what the state considers an outbreak. Two cases related to each other, at least three classrooms or cohorts with cases from separate households, or at least 5% of the entire school population has confirmed COVID-19 within a 14-day period. Right now, there are 43 schools with outbreaks. Since the state began tracking numbers in October of 2020, there have been outbreaks at 216 schools. Now, of the 43 schools with outbreaks we're seeing right now, Baltimore County has the most, 13 schools and 58 cases spread throughout them. Harford, Howard, and Montgomery counties each have three schools on the list. Baltimore City has three schools as well on the list, but one of them, a private Jewish school, has 10 cases, and one of, that's one of the higher numbers in our area. There are two schools with more than 20 cases in Worcester and Washington counties. The good news, though, that the CDC says in-person learning has not contributed to substantial community outbreaks. Now, Maryland has been one of the slowest states to return to in-person learning, despite the effort to get kids back sooner. Prince George's County was the last school district in the state to start bringing their kids back. That happens about three weeks ago on April 6th. Now, they haven't had any issues, and schools are removed from the outbreak list once they have reached that 14-day period with no new cases or pending results. Reporting live, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.